All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 6 Experimental. So, I've uh, gone ahead and finished up some of my interior uh, redesigning of the base. And uh, I wanted to show you what I did. I did it just a bit ago. Um, unfortunately, this video is going to be a you know, little bit short. Um, hope everybody's doing okay, by the way. Um, hope you're all having a great day. I'm having a fantastic day, although I don't have a lot of time to record because I'm going to have to get some sleep before I end up going to the card shop later today. Uh, I, there's a card game that I play, and, uh, well, y you guys might find out about that eventually. But right now, I'm going to show you guys a quick tour of the upgrade to my base, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, let me take down my uh, spotlight here that I had here, uh, just so you guys could see my face a little better. <laughs> um, so, in the abandoned mine, if we come into here, you'll notice that I've added another extra door here. This leads up to the workshop area. And up in the workshop area, I've still got my armor locker and all this. Um, but I put a sensor here, which turns this light on and off. I leave the flares going all the time just because, you know, because I can. Um, but so I've got the repair thing. I've got these up here. I've got my weapon and ammo things. I've got my extra tools and stuff, which all of this is kind of superfluous. I may eventually throw some of the stuff that I don't need into uh, the workshop here or into the factory here. But uh, if I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with those. They really need to make like some sort of recycler that you can throw all these extra things in and get like raw materials out of to put back into here. That would be awesome. Um, even if it's a little higher tier. But let's head back down and uh, you'll see that through here, I don't have a sensor in here yet. Let me put a sensor in here. I forgot to do that while I was doing it. Uh, this is the medical bay. Uh, the medical bay is where you come to get all your medical things taken care of. Um, let's see, add to med bay. All right, interactive setup. Now, the interactive setup is a little weird, but let's see. I want that to be one. That's that. No, hold on. That's not that. I want that to be this. That to be three, that can be one, and I want that to go out to there. All right, now I haven't put a door over there yet, but now I can key, let's see, that's fine. Uh, motion sensor in the med bay, that's cool. This is med bay, and then the light add to last group. And you will be med bay. And now if I come, well, if I come out of this door and then in here, the light comes on and then goes off. Um, you add to last group. All right. So the one thing I don't like about this, I used to love being able to just stand here for a bit, chill out, gain some hit points back. That was awesome. Now I actually have to activate it. <sighs> but... Anyway, so let's give a quick tour of my home. Now, if you come into this room, it's an unassuming, you know, room that looks like it's made completely out of metal. It's boring and all. I did add a motion sensor to turn this light on and off, which I added in here, just so that it uh, adds some uh, illumination while it's dark. But in here, you'll see a nice welcoming foyer or foyer. But, uh, so, you know, you've got this bench, you can just sit down, recover some staminas, you know, look at the pretty plants, enjoy the, uh, the scenery in here, or you can just keep on walking. Um, in the living room in here, we've got, you know, the bed, the TV, you've got, you know, the, the couch bench thing over here with the tables, and, and you can, you know, sit on those and that to get stamina back. Through here, we've got the kitchen. The kitchen's all set up and colored. You've got the bathroom. You come in here, you can 
you know, de-irradiate yourself, reducing radiation. You can, uh, you know, flush the toilet. And then the bedroom. Now the bedroom, I've got a flip switch so that I can come in here, do all my stuff, you know, and then when I want to go to bed, I can just power down and come over here. Now, all the other lights in the base I ha that I, like any light that's not on a switch, I turned off so that I, um, so that it's not using a lot of power and using up the frames. Through here, I have a garden. There's no illumination in here. I might put a light like here or there 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 or some combination of them. I might put the lights in the corners. I don't know. But over here on uh, in the garden, I've set up, I've got five rows of space durins, five rows of wheat, five rows of tomatoes that are really, really tall, five rows of space pumpkins. I've got six cave bean stalks. I've got two textured plant proteins. I've got 10, 10, no, six. What is it? Six. I've got six rows of aloe and six rows of fiber. So I can make up bandages with these, which I'm going to need a lot of bandages now that they do half health recovery. They only recover 30 instead of the uh, the 80 they used to. Small med packs only recover 80 instead of the hunt or, or like it's like 50 instead of the 100. And large med packs only recover 100 instead of the 300 they used to. <sighs> but what can you do? And for the last but not least, we have this. This. All the light. Wait, hold on. Back through here. I forgot to turn my flashlight off. Okay. So, when you walk into here, the lights that are the closest to you will turn on, illuminating your path, while the ones behind you cut off. <laughs> leading all the way up to here. Now, down here, I haven't done a whole lot. Um, I don't have it on a, I don't have that on a uh, switch, but I have it turned on. Actually, I have a lot of them turned on. I could have swore I turned the lights on the base off. But anyway, um, for some reason, some of them are on and some of them are not. I don't know. But I've got, I put this back. I didn't color it right. It's supposed to be what? No, not that color. This color. There gray to match those. I do need to uh, replace these alien blocks in here and the ones back behind there and put these things back here, but uh, I haven't done any of that yet. I also uh, need to put a door here and a door over there and nothing down below the base has been uh, augmented either. So this is as far as the renovations go because the furthest I'm probably ever going to go, to be honest, is the uh, the generator room right there. So, you know, because uh, I'm going to be living in this area mainly in here when I'm doing some, you know, living things. Um, and in here, I'm going to put a medical con medical fabricator, uh, constructor, fabricator, what a processor. There you go, medical processor. And then over here, I'm thinking about expanding this out that way one more square so that I can put a uh, a gardening processor and some uh, a couple of refrigerators in here for holding the uh, produce and stuff that I get off of those but I uh, for now that is all I am doing but up here I might add like another light over here somewhere expand this a bit you know, I don't know exactly what all I'm going to be doing with this room. I, I'm probably just going to leave it as it is. But the elevator here also goes up to the top here. So I'm thinking about, like, replacing this and this with a couple of stairs. And then something, like, over here putting, you know, I don't know, turrets or whatnot up here. But the next major thing that I want to do is somewhere around here, I need to put a landing pad for a capital vessel. And I'm thinking,
thinking this direction is perfect for it once I get that magnesium deposit completely mined out. So, um, oh, also, I put some, uh, some pads on the truck here because, as you saw previously, it was getting stuck in the ground. I don't know if you guys noticed it or anything. When I turned it on, I would lift up and it would get stuck and I would have to wiggle around before I could move. And now I don't have to worry about that. So I can just land it like this, it docks, and I can get out. So, anyway, I'm sorry about that being a short episode, but I, like I said, I'm not a lot of, I don't have a lot of time. But next episode, um, hopefully tomorrow, um, maybe, well, it won't be tomorrow. Maybe day after tomorrow, I don't know. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to have enough time to record an episode for tomorrow. But um, I will have an episode next week. I might might record a small episode tomorrow and get it out like at noon or later. But uh, I don't know. I can't guarantee anything. But uh, on uh, the day after tomorrow, which should be Monday. At least it'll be Monday here. I don't know where you guys are, but it'll be Monday here. Um, but I will have uh, an episode out uh, for Monday and uh, with that episode, I'm probably going to finish mining out that magnesium deposit, filling it in, and then clearing all this land, like all this, and building a landing pad for a capital vessel. And then the next episode, we're going to start work on a capital vessel. We might also do some POI rating, because, you know, I've still got the drone base around here somewhere there that I want to go take out. And it looks like it's surrounded by water, but I don't know. That could just be a visual glitch on the map. Uh, but there's the Epsilon Fortress here that I want to take out. There's the drone base there that I want to take out. And I really want to take, get a look at that drone base because I don't know if that is the uh, the smaller drone base, like the, the lower to the ground one, like I... Uh, like Captain Adonis and I raided in our last multiplayer, or if that's one a larger one, because apparently, apparently, they've added uh, like where the drone base isn't the same on the planets anymore. Because I've had one Akua instance where the drone base on the planet was like the one that Captain Adonis and I raided in the multiplayer, and then I've had another one where. It was the uh, a taller version with the the tower spire thing, and I'm like, okay, so multiple like I, I like that where it's not all the same. Then again, they might have just changed it from version to version, so I don't know. But anyway, that's enough blabbering and talking on for me. I'm gonna call that an episode. So I hope everybody enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. Oh, let me get into the light so you can see me. Uh, let me let me just turn around here, because if I turn around here, you should be able to see me. Like so. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little episode, Tour of the Base Update. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you guys want to see more Imperion Galactic Survival, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Know-It-All DM, and as always, y'all have a good day now.